time for question for answer. Understanding order 30. Honorable member for Chinsali. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question number 248. The Honorable Minister of Housing and Infrastructure Development. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Member of Parliament for Chinsari. would like to find out from the Ministry of Housing and Infrastructure Development a question in four parts. But A, when the construction of 47 kilometer access road in Chinsari district will commence. B, what has caused the delay in commencing the project? C, when the construction of 15 kilometer Ashford concrete dual carriageway from Namuluma to Central Business District will commence, and D, what has caused the delay in commencing the project? In our response, Mr. Speaker, is as follows. On A, the completion of the 47-kilometer access road in Chinsadi District will commence once funds have been secured and procurement of the works has been concluded. B, project commencement is delayed due to financing constraints. C, construction of the 15-kilometer Ashford and concrete dual carriageway from Nambula to the central business district will commence once funds have been secured and procurement of the works contractor has been concluded. And D, project commencement has been delayed again due to funding constraints. I thank you. Honorable member for Nakonde. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Minister. In your response to the question posed by the Member of Parliament for Chinsari Central, you have indicated that the asphalt road from Namuruma to the CDB of Chinsari, which is supposed to be a dual carriageway, will only be done if funds are, are available. There was the indications earlier by RDA that uh, this particular road may be a variation which will make it part of the project uh, from uh, Chinsari to Nakonde, which is funded under African Development Bank. If that is the case, Honorable Minister, is there challenges from African Development Bank in terms of flow of cash? Because uh, I've noticed that this particular project is slowing down the project between uh, Chinsari and Nakonde, which we expect that will be a variation. There will be a variation to include this particular stretch of the road. Mr. Speaker, I thank you. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, um, yes, indeed, our intentions were to vary funds from the Chinsari Nakonde Road funded by African Development Bank. Uh, Mr. Speaker, what has happened is that, yes, on that road, we actually made some savings. Uh, even though it's a loan, we made some savings uh, because uh, uh, I think at the time of estimating, uh, there were high estimations of how much it would cost us to pay for Chinsari Nakonde. And some of that monies which were saved, African Development Bank allowed us to vary them to some, to vary them to some projects within uh, the same region. But what has happened now, African Development Bank have come back to us. They have said, all the savings you've made, uh, they are telling us and they're negotiating with us that must actually be varied to support COVID fight, uh, the COVID, um, fight against COVID. And African Development Bank is reluctant to allow us to, die, to use the savings from that project on road-related issues, but that we must divert them to health-related issues. And this is coming from them. And the World Bank as well are persuading us to do that. So we are still negotiating. And that is why my answer is, until we secure those funds, we are unable to say we are going to do it. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member for Chinsali. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Minister, I want to find out. You have stated that uh, the, the two projects are only going to commence upon av availability of uh, funds. And in your response to the question that was raised by Honorable Member for Nakonde, you have stated, uh, you have given reasons as to why you cannot use the savings that were made on the Chinsali Nakonde project to uh, to be applied on this uh, Nambuluma to uh, Chinsali CBD uh, project. So I want to find out, have you been in discussion with the Minister of Finance to find out when likely he is going to find the money that is going to be used 
to um, uh, facilitate the implementation of these two very serious important projects in Chinsali. That is the construction of the geo carriage asphalt concrete road from Nambuluma to Chinsali Post Office and also the 47 kilometers access roads in Chinsali. If so, you have been in the discussions with the Minister of Finance. What has been his response regarding this matter? Mr. Speaker, I thank you. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we're in constant engagement with the Minister of Finance on issues to do with roads. And in fact, the Minister of Finance urged us to prioritize our projects um, uh, so that they could then look for financing that will support uh, those prioritized projects between us and the Minister of Local Government. And we've done that priority list. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that road, I can confirm, that has been included. However, uh, a priority list is just a wish list. It now depends on the Minister of Finance to be able to raise those funds that will meet the priority list or not. If they find everything, then um, we'll be happy that all the roads will be done that we have prioritized. If they are not able to find to fundraise for everything that is required, then we'll have to rely on our initiatives, such as to vary funds from the Nakonde uh, project, and if we succeed in convincing African Development Bank to return funds there rather than take them to COVID fight. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. The last question, Honorable Member for Kasempa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the same line with the people of uh, Chinsali, Kasempa has a situation that uh, one of the links Zambia uh, 8,000 roads, which is lined up since 2014, has a permanent death trap in the sense that there are heaps of uh, gravel that were left by some contractor some five, six years ago, on which we have witnessed a lot of uh, uh, or death by motorists as well as cyclists. Now, I would like to find out from the minister when those death traps of those, ha of, of those heaps of gravel will be removed so that at least the safety of the people who are riding on that road is secured in Chief Ingwe's area. I thank you. Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker, with your indulgence, I would like to request that the Honorable Member of Parliament puts in a question, for, particularly for that road, so I can bring a researched answer. That will be particularly responding to contractor issues there, what we have done, if it is one of the priori prioritized roads or not, and how much it will need us to deal with that situation. Then I can give an appropriate answer. Um, um, otherwise, uh, I, I would not give a satisfying uh, response. With your indulgence, if she could ask a question. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.